problem today is on Bayes theorem. So this is the most important problem. So related to the Bayes theorem, see here, a bag A, so which bag? Bag A contains two white and three red balls. And bag B contains four white and five red balls. So one ball is drawn at random from one of the bags and it is found to be red. So out of two bags, one bag is drawn at random and it is found to be red color. Find the probability that the red ball drawn is from bag B. See, question is very clear. See, in bag A, so this is a bag. So this is some bag A and in this bag we have two white and three red. And here, this is bag B. So, in bag B, we have 4 white and 5 red. And 5 red. See here, among these bag A and bag B, one bag is selected. And it is found to be a red color. So, the red color from this bag A is nothing but 3 by total 5. And the red color from bag B is nothing but 5 by total 9. That is 5 by 9. And also find the probability that the red ball is from bag B. So, see here. Question is clear. Let A and B denote the events of selecting a bag A and bag B. So, the probability of choosing bag A is half and the probability of choosing bag B is half. And next one, let R denote the event of drawing a red ball. So, red ball from bag A. So, the bag A contains three red balls and two white balls total five so the probability of drawing a red ball from bag b from bag a is three by five see here this is bag a so the bag a contains two white and three red so this is a a the probability that a red ball is drawn from bag a is nothing but three by five total five and next, having selected bag B, the probability to draw a red ball from bag B. So, this is bag B. So, bag B contains a 4 white and 5 red. So, the probability of drawing a red ball from bag B is nothing but this is 5 by 9. Clear? So, we got the probability of selecting bag A is half. Probability of selecting bag B is half. The probability of getting a red ball from bag a is 3 by 5 and the probability of getting a red ball from bag b is 5 by 9 and see now what is it we want find the probability that the red ball is from bag b see here we have all the values ready that is probability of a is equal to half probability of b is equal to half selecting bag a is half and selecting bag b is half and the probability of getting a red ball from bag a is see here red ball from bag a is 3 by 5 3 by 5 and the probability of getting a red ball from bag b is see this is 5 by 9 so this value is 5 by 9 so all the four values are ready now See here, one of the bags is selected at random. From it, a ball is drawn at random. So, it is found to be a red ball. So, now we got a red ball. Then, the probability that the selected bag is B. So, we have to get that red ball from bag B. What is the probability that the red ball drawn is from B? See here, it is a conditional probability. So, First of all, first thing should be, it should be a red ball and it is from bag B. Therefore, probability of B given R. So, bag B and red ball. The first thing is, it should be a red ball and it is from bag B. See here, according to the Bayes theorem, we have a formula that we have to reciprocate. So, B given R can be written as R given B. And in order to balance this B, so, we have to multiply with probability of B. In that way, if you remember, then the problem will be very, very easy. Here, the probability of a red ball getting from bag B is probability of R given B into probability of B by total probability of A into probability of R given A plus probability of B by probability of R given B. If you see this for one more time, then you will get a clear cut idea to how to write the formula. So, all our values are ready. What is probability? 
of uh, getting a back b is half and probability of getting a red ball from b is red ball from b is this is 5 by 9 and probability of drawing back b is half and probability of uh, getting a red ball from bag A is 3 by 5 and half into 5 by 9. So, if I take half common and cancel, this is 5 by 9 by 3 by 5 plus 5 by 9. So, if I take 5, 9 as LCM, so this will be 27 plus 25. So, if I cancel 1, 9 here, this will be 25 by 52. Therefore, the probability of getting a red ball from bag B is 25 by 52 so this is how we have to solve if you read the question for one or two times so even though it is very lengthy so the concept is very clear inside a bag b contains bag b contains two white and three red and bag a contains two white and three red and bag b contains four white and five red see one ball is drawn at random from one of the bags so probability of selecting each bag is half Probability of selecting bag A is half and probability of selecting bag B is half. And it is found to be red ball. So, the probability of getting a red ball from bag A is 3 by 5 and probability of getting a red ball from bag B is 5 by 9. So, keep all these values and next find the probability that the red ball is from bag B. The first thing should be a red ball and the next thing it should be from bag B. See, this is how we have to write the first thing in the denominator and in the numerator, the latest thing back B. So, probability of B given R is nothing but just to reciprocal it, B given R, here R given B and into B and probability of B by we have to add up these two and this is the final answer. This is how we have to solve using Bayes theorem. This is the most important problem and I will be uploading many more problems related to this series. Have a look at those and please practice definitely you can score more. Thank you so much.